What's up YouTube? Katie here. You're watching Nick and Katie. Today I'm going to do a review on my new full face. Um, I got it three months ago and I'm here to tell you all the good things, all the bad things, and everything in between. So let's get into the review of the Smith Mainline. So here's some details about the Smith Mainline. The size I went with is medium. The color is Iago Garay, named after the famous enduro racer. This full face features choroid, which is the honeycomb looking stuff. It looks like straws stuck to one another. It evenly absorbs energy on impact and is more lightweight and breathable than other materials. This helmet features MIPS, a brain protection system that reduces the chances of you getting a concussion. It's almost standard on all helmets these days. It's also downhill and e-bike certified, but it's still light enough to wear for our enduro riding. This helmet is designed to work best with Smith Performance Goggles. The helmet's air evac ventilation system integrates with Smith Goggles for fog-free lenses and the crown of the helmet matches up perfectly to the shape of the goggles. When you buy the helmet, they provide three washable cheek pad kits, two crown liners, and two neck rolls to let you fine tune the fit. I ended up going with the medium cheek pads that were already on it. This helmet features a D-ring chin strap fastener for a snug fit. Commonly found on downhill helmets and motocross helmets. The D-ring is extremely secure, however it does take a bit longer to do and undo. I find I can slip the helmet off without undoing the strap. This helmet has 21 fixed vents for consistent airflow so it is very breathable. This helmet also has an adjustable visor and comes with extra bolts to attach the visor. I hear they've been known to fall off and become lost, so having some spares is awesome. The helmet has an antibacterial performance lining for odor resistance. Weight for the size medium is 27 ounces and 770 grams. I got mine for $300, but you can find them as low as $186 on Amazon. Link is in the description. So I'm going to start with my likes, the way it looks. I mean, look at this thing. I couldn't imagine a more beautiful thing. So the way it fits, I completely forget that I'm wearing this thing. It is so lightweight. It doesn't even seem like it's a full face. Like when you're wearing it, you could just wear it for regular riding and it's totally fine. And not only that, but it has so much ventilation all the way around this thing. You have so much airflow going through here, you barely get sweaty. Not only that, but there is a little hole here you can put your straw through to drink your water. Also, there's all this like very comfortable padding that's super soft, there's like soft material. And when I put this helmet on, I don't feel any hot spots. There's, not, there's nowhere inside the helmet that feels like pressure. So the last thing I like about this helmet is that it comes with a really nice bag and it matches the helmet perfectly. It has ventilation so you can dry your helmet but you can also put it away. It's like a backpack also. You can kind of like put your helmet in and sling it over your back. Yeah, but those are the things I like about this full face. Now we're gonna get into the things that I don't like about the Smith Mainline. So one of the things I don't like is that this visor is extremely long. So what happens is I sometimes hit my head on things that I don't mean to hit my head on pretty often actually. <laughs> Other full faces don't seem to be this quite this long, but this one is pretty long. So another problem I have had with this helmet is these um, back pads that can be removed. They, they're they tending to kind of curl inward into your head. So when you're putting on the helmet, it kind of snags your head and your hair. So if you have long hair, it's gonna pull your hair and it's gonna be hard to get it on and take it off but I kind of have to like finagle it a little bit here and here to get it to like kind of get onto my head or take it off. Because this chin strap is um, the D-ring style, they're harder to put on. Um, you have to pull it through that and then you have to put it under this one. And then you have to pull that and then you have to button this Putting it on takes a lot of effort and taking it off takes a lot of effort. So I find myself just like undoing this and then kind of pushing this in. It's kind of hard to do it. And then loosening it enough that I can pull push this forward like that 
and then I take the helmet off. I don't take this completely off because if I did, it's a lot more difficult to put it back together again. So that kind of leaves me wanting to keep my helmet on for the whole ride. So that's another problem. Just one other little tiny thing, and it's not even a big deal, is that there's creaking. I think that's like a normal thing for full face helmets that have nips, but it's not that big of a deal, especially if you have the right fit. Um, make sure it's snug, the cheek pads are the right size, because um, if it fits well, then you're gonna have less creaking and it's gonna be more of an enjoyable ride. And who might you ask is this helmet for? Someone with true class and style. Someone who wants to feel like they have full protection without feeling like they're wearing a tank on their head. Someone that doesn't like to take their helmet off during the ride. This is an all-around, well-rounded helmet that you can wear for any mountain bike ride, enduro, downhill, bike park, e-bike. This helmet is light and airy enough to wear on any mountain bike ride. This helmet is for someone that might have a slightly wider face, maybe your cheekbones are more prominent. The ones that I tried on made by Troyly Design and Fox felt like it was meant for more of a narrow face or smaller cheekbones. This one looked better on me than the Fox and the Troyly Design. I hope you all enjoyed my review of the Smith Mainline Helmet. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and please consider subscribing. I'm Katie and you're watching Nick and Katie. I hope you guys have a good week and I'll see you next time. Like you're, you want this helmet. Like this is the helm, this is the helmet that you want because this is, it's just, how could you want anything else? <laughs>